वेलकम टू सी एंड सी प्लस प्लस प्रोग्रामिंग अंडर ए पी जी पाठशाला टूडे वी विल स्टार्ट विथ मॉड्यूल थर्टी सेवन मैनेजिंग कंसोल आई ओ ऑपरेशन इन द अर्लियर मॉड्यूल्स वी हैव रिटर्न मेनी प्रोग्राम्स वेर द इनपुट वॉज नीडेड एंड आउटपुट वॉज डिस्प्लेड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर चैप्टर वी आर गुड टू सी हाउ वी कैन फॉर्मैट दिस इनपुट और आउटपुट इन जनरल देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ इनपुट एंड आउटपुट इन सी प्लस प्लस वन इज लो लेवल इनपुट एंड आउटपुट एंड सेकेंड इज हाई लेवल इनपुट एंड आउटपुट in low level it is unformatted input and output it is just a sequence of bytes that is read or returned to the screen whereas in high level input and output the formatting is done so it is formatted input or output and the data is transferred using the blocks it can be blocked together into a particular unit and the transfer takes place in c++ we can format the input and output in real life we can relate it to a car where car has a gear accelerator and other things which will control the speed and the direction of the car in the same way we can control the input and output in c++ for example if you want to display the value as 1.000 then it will be displayed as just 1 if you don't use the formatting or if you want to display the value as 1.5000 then it will be displayed as 1.5 where zeros will be omitted if you don't want to happen this way in our program we can go for formatting output the formatting in c++ will be done using the manipulators manipulators are nothing but the operators in c++ which will format the output data there are different manipulators which are provided for setting the precision uh, value for setting the filling characters and so on we are going to see each one of them in this particular module this formatting input and output is done using the streams as we have seen in earlier module stream is nothing but a channel where the information is going to flow from source to destination now here we are going to see the formatting input and output where the information will not be just the bytes of characters but it will be done using the separate units for example if you want to read the file it cannot be read just as a single unit the user can decide where the file can be read as line by line or a uh, few lines at a time or it can be printed as one block at a time so let's start with our module in general each program takes some information as input and tries to produce processed information as output with the help of input process output cycle c++ language has introduced a wide variety of features which can be used for displaying the output with the help of a wide variety of functions C++ makes use of data manipulators directly to display the output using the output stream. Now let's see the learning objectives of this module. We are going to learn about formatted console I/O operations. We will study about managing output with manipulators. We will learn about user defined manipulators. Now let's see first the formatted console I/O operations. C++ supports a wide variety of features which can be used for designing the output. the features will consist of ios class functions and flags manipulators and user defined manipulators now let's see ios class functions and flags the ios class consist of variety of member functions that helps to format the output in many ways the most commonly used ios functions that are used for formatting are the different functions and their task are given in the table the first function is width to indicate the essential field size for displaying the output value next is precision to indicate the digits that are to be displayed after the decimal point of a float fill to denote a character that is used to fill up the unused portion of a field set f to denote the format flags that can organize the form of output display and set f to clear the flag that is being specified Now let's see each function in detail. We'll start with the width function. It is mainly used to describe the width of a field that is required for the output of an atom. Because it is a member function, it is must to invoke it using an object. The width function can be able to give the field width for only one atom. That is the atom that follows instantly. The syntax is C out dot width in bracket W, where W is the field width that is number of columns now let's see a program to implement the usage of the width function we'll start with a program hash include iostream using namespace std integer main 
see out the begin the text is displayed on the screen now we will set the width as 25 see out dot width 25 now we will display the number as see out the number is 235 and the text is displayed end slash end now this particular value 234 will be displayed where first 22 will be blank spaces and then the value will be displayed as 234 now we will display the text as see out the text begin greater than sign now we will set the width value as see out dot width 25 now we will display the number as see out the number 234 and the text field next now this particular width that we have set will be set only for this particular see out statement for 234 the next see out statement it will not be applicable so next statement is see out the number 567 and then the text end slash n now this particular 567 will be displayed as it is the width will not be applicable to this particular statement now next will be see out begin that is the text that we are going to display now we will set the width as 4 see out dot width 4 see out the number 234567 and the text end slash n return 0 and our program will end now when the above program is compiled and executed it will produce the result as first it will display begin greater than sign the first blank spaces and then 234 and end next line begin greater than sign again some blank spaces 234 name next 567 where the width will not be specified and then end the next line begin 234567 and end the next function is precision it is mainly used to indicate the number of digits that are to be displayed after the decimal point while printing the numbers that are of floating point type the default precision for floating number is 6 digits after the decimal point while printing the precision functions tries to preserve the situation and result until it is reorganized it is also possible to join the field specification with the precision setting syntax is c out dot precision in bracket d semicolon where d is the number of digits to the right of the decimal point now let's see a program to implement the usage of precision function we will start with the program hash include io stream hash include io manip using namespace std now we will start with our main function as integer main float pi is equal to 22.0 divided by 7.0 integer j see out the text field value of pi colon slash n now we will start with our for loop for j equal to 0 j less than equal to 9 j plus plus now we will set the width as c out dot width j plus 1 c out dot precision j and c out the value of pi and slash n and our for loop will end so inside this our width and precision will be always incremented by 1 because it is inside the for loop last return 0 and the main program will end now when the above code is compiled and executed it will produce the result as value of pi first line 3 next line 3.1 next 3.14 3.143 3.1429 3 3.1426 and so on the next function is a field function by default while printing the values that are having larger field width than required by the values the ideal positions of the field are filled with the white spaces this problem can be solved by using the field function because it fill up the unused positions by any preferred character the syntax is c out dot field in bracket ch where ch represents the character which is used for filling the unused positions now let's see a program to implement the usage of field function we'll start with the program hash include io stream using namespace std integer main now we will have the filling character as c out dot field less than sign c out dot precision 3 we'll start with our for loop for integer i is equal to 0 i less than equal to 5 i plus plus inside the for loop c out dot width is 5 so we are setting the width to 5 c out we are printing the value of i i c out dot width 10 c out 1.0 divided by float i slash n if i is equal to 3 
C out feel greater than sign and our for loop will end. So here as you can see the width is specified for each and every number and the number is displayed using the width field. Now when the i value reaches to 3 the filling character will be changed to greater than sign. So for first 3 values 1, 2, 3 the filling character is less than sign and after 3 that is 4, 5, 6 the filling character is greater than sign. So that is what is done inside this for loop. Now outside the for loop c out slash n after padding it change slash n slash n c out dot fill dollar c out dot width 15 c out the number 23.456789 slash n and return 0. Now when the above code is compiled and executed it will produce the result as c, uh, the less than sign 1 and the value 1. So 1, 2, 3 will be printed with the filling character as less than and then value 4, 5, 6 will be printed with the filling character as greater than sign and then the last character is printed with the value the uh, 23.456789 and the filling character dollar. Now we will see the set of uh, function. When the width function is used, it tries to print the value with right justification by using the width that is created. But to print the text with the left justification, it is must to use the set if function. The syntax is c out dot set if in bracket argument 1 comma argument 2. Now in this syntax, the argument 1 is the value of formatting flags that are defined in iOS class. It denotes the format action that is required for both the output. Argument 2 is a bit field in constant in the iOS class and it denotes the collection to which the formatting flag belongs. In general, there are three bit fields and each have the set of format flags. The flags and the bit fields that can be used for set if function are, now there are displayed in a table as the format that is required, the flag that is argument 1 and the flag that is argument 2. Left justified output will be iOS left and the flag 2 value will be iOS adjust field. Like right justified output will be iOS right and iOS adjust field. Padding after sign or base will be iOS internal, iOS adjust field. Indicator there is nothing. Scientific notation will be iOS scientific, iOS float field. Fixed point notation will be iOS fixed, iOS float field. Decimal base will be iOS colon colon decimal, iOS base field. Octal base will be iOS oct, iOS base field, hexadecimal base will be iOS hex and iOS base field. So formats will have two different uh, argument to value, one is adjust field and second is float field and the flag values will be different. Now let us see the float field bit format flip. Based on the requirement, sometimes a floating point value may have to exhibit in scientific notation or in fixed notation. So, we will see these two formats scientific and fixed. When the scientific is set, then the floating point values are inserted using the scientific notation. There will be only one digit before the decimal point followed by the particular number of precision digits. It is then followed by the uppercase letter E or a lowercase letter E depending on the situation of uppercase and the exponent value. The syntax is C out dot set f in bracket iOS colon colon scientific comma iOS colon colon adjust field. The next is a fixed flag. When the flag is fixed, then the value is inserted using the decimal notation with the particular number of precision digits following the decimal point. If neither scientific nor fixed is set, then the scientific notation will be used when the exponent is less than 4 or greater than precision or else the fixed notation is used. The syntax is c out dot set f ios colon colon fixed comma ios colon colon adjust field. Now we will see base field format flag. The base field format flag is mainly used to show the integers in the appropriate base. At a time one of the base field that is decimal, octal or hexadecimal be able to set at any time. The base field format flags manage the base in which the numbers are displayed. The default base field that will be set is 
decimal. The syntax is C out dot setf ios colon colon decimal comma ios colon colon base field. C out dot setf ios colon colon out comma ios colon colon base field. Next is C out dot setf ios colon colon hex ios colon colon base field. Now we will see the program to print a number in three different forms that is hexadecimal, octa and decimal format using the set format field. Now we will start with our program hash include iostream using namespace std. Now we will start with our main program integer main. Now we will declare one variable as integer, integer i is equal to 76. Now this particular number 76 we are going to display in three different formats that is hexadecimal, octal and decimal format. So first we will change the format here as c out dot set f ios colon colon opt comma ios colon colon base field. Now here the format is changed to the octal. Now we will display our number in a octal format as c out octal equal to the text field the value of the number and slash n. Now we will change the format to hexadecimal as c out dot set f ios colon colon hex comma ios colon colon base field. Now we will print the value in the hexadecimal format as c out hex equal to is a text field and the value of the number. Now we will change the format to decimal as c out dot set f ios colon colon dec that is decimal comma ios colon colon base field. Now we will display the number in the decimal format as c out the decimal is equal to that is a text field and the value of the number and our program will end. Now as you can see here we are just changing the format and the number will be displayed in three different formats that is hexadecimal, octo and decimal. When this particular program is compiled and executed it will produce the result as octal is equal to 114, the hexadecimal value is equal to 4c and the decimal value is equal to 76. Now let us see flags that do not have bit fields. Some of the flags does not contain any bit fields. Therefore, they are used with single arguments while using the setf function. In C++ language, some of the flags do not have bit fields. They are, now here the table is shown where there is a flag and the significance. The ios colon colon show base will make use of the base indicator on output. ios colon colon show pose that is position will print plus symbol before the numbers that are positive. ios colon colon show point will display trailing decimal point and zeros. ios colon colon uppercase make use of uppercase letters for hexadecimal output. ios keep ws miss out white spaces on input. ios colon colon unit buff flush all streams after the insertion. ios colon colon stdio flush the std out and std error after the inclusion or insertion. Now let us see the show base bit format flag. The show base format flag is mainly used to show the base for octal and hexadecimal numbers. Suppose if hex is set then ox will be inserted in front of any primary insertion. The syntax is c out dot set f in bracket ios colon colon show base. Now let us see a program to show the sign of a given number using the show base flag. We will start with the program hash include iostream using namespace std integer main. We will declare the number as integer number equal to 76. We will set the flags now c out dot set f in bracket ios colon colon show base c out dot set f in bracket ios colon colon show pose c out the text decimal equal to and the value of a number slash n c out dot set f ios colon colon opt ios colon colon base field c out the text field octal equal to and the value of a number c out set f ios colon colon hex ios base field c out hexadecimal equal to is a text and the value of a number slash n c out set f in bracket ios colon colon decimal that is dec ios colon colon base field c out the text decimal equal to value of number and slash n and our program is end. Now when the above code is compiled and executed 
it will produce the result as decimal equal to plus 76, octal equal to 0114, hexadecimal equal to 0x4c and decimal equal to plus 76. Now let us see the uppercase bit format flag. The uppercase bit format flag is mainly used to show the output in uppercase. By default, the notations always appear in lowercase. The syntax is C out dot setf in bracket iOS colon colon uppercase semicolon. Now let us see a program to see the base of the hexadecimal number in uppercase using the uppercase bit format field setting. We will start with the program hash include iostream using namespace std integer main. Now, I will declare the number as integer number equal to 0x to abc. C out dot set f ios uppercase or ios show base. C out decimal equal to the text field, the value of a number. C out dot set f ios oct ios base field. C out octal equal to the text field and the value of a number. C out set f ios hex ios base field. C out hexadecimal equal to is a text field and the value of a number. C out dot set f iOS DEC iOS base field. C out decimal equal to is a text and the value of a number slash a and the program will end. When the above code is compiled and executed, it will produce the result as decimal equal to 10940, octal equal to 025274 hexadecimal equal to 0x to abc which will be displayed in capital and decimal equal to 10940. Now next is show point bit format flag. The show point bit format flag is mainly used to display the decimal point for all floating point values. By default the quantity of decimal position is 6. The unset f flag is invoked to cancel the showing of all decimal values of a floating point number. The syntax is C out dot set f ios colon colon show point. Now let us see a simple program to display the floating val point value with all decimal places. We will start with the program hash include iostream using namespace std integer main float a b c d. Now we are trying to give different values to this float variables a equal to 2.34567890 b equal to 45.67 c equal to 1.23 e2, d equal to minus 123.5677. Now, we will set the flag as c out dot set f ios colon colon show point, c out a equal to the value of a, c out b equal to value of b, c out c equal to value of c and c out d equal to value of d and our program will end. When the above code is compiled and executed, it will produce the result as a equal to 2.34568, B equal to 45.6700, C equal to 123.000 and D equal to minus 123.568. Unset F. The unset F function is mainly used to alter the bits to directly off. This function takes accurately one argument to turn off the bit pattern. The bitwise OR operator can be used in the argument list of the unset f function in order to turn off more than one bit format flag of the IO stream. The syntax is C out dot unset f in bracket flags to be turned off. Managing output with manipulators. The manipulators are the unique and special stream functions that can be included in the input and output statements to alter certain characteristics of the input and output. To use the manipulators, it is must to include the header file iomanip.h or iomanip in the program. The predefined manipulators and their equivalent IOS functions are shown in the following table. The manipulator is set w and their equivalent IOS function is width. Set precision, precision. Set fill, fill. Set IOS flags, set f. Reset IOS flags, unset f first manipulator is basically end l. The end l stands for end of line. The end l is an output manipulator that mainly generates a carriage return or a line feed character. It is used to stop a line or and flushes the buffer. There is no limit on the usage of end l. It can be used any number of times. End l may be used several times in a C++ program. Next is set base. The set base manipulator is used to modify the base of one numeric value into another base. 
द कॉमनली यूज बेस कन्वर्जन इन सी प्लस प्लस लैंग्वेज आर डेसीमल दैट इज अ डेसीमल बेस वेर बेस इज इक्वल टू टेन हेक्स दैट इज अक्सा डेसीमल बेस वेर बेस इज सिक्सटीन एंड ऑक्ट दैट इज ऑक्टल बेस वेर बेस इज एट द सेट बेस मैन्यूपरेटर इज यूज टू डिस्क्राइब द बेस ऑफ अ न्यूमरिकल वैल्यू ऑफ अ वेरिएबल सिंस द प्रोटोटाइप ऑफ अ सेट बेस मैन्यूपरेटर इज डिफाइंड इन आईओ मैन्यूप डॉट एच और आईओ मैन्यूप हेडर फाइल इट इज मस्ट टू इंक्लूड आईओ मैन्यूप डॉट एच हेडर फाइल इन द प्रोग्राम द हेक्स डेसीमल ऑक्ट मैन्यूपरेटर्स अल्टर द बेस ऑफ इंसर्टेड और एक्सट्रैक्टेड इंटीजर वैल्यूज द डिफॉल्ट वैल्यू ऑफ स्ट्रीम इनपुट एंड आउटपुट इज डेसीमल The syntax is set base in bracket integer base. Now we will see a program to print the base value of a number using hex, oct, and decimal manipulators. We'll start with our program hash include io stream, hash include io manip using namespace std. Now we will start with our main function as integer main. We will declare the variable here as integer number. Now we will take a value of this number from the user. So first we will display the message as C out enter the number. We will take a number from the user as C in number. Now we will display this number on the screen as C out the number is the text field and the value of a number slash n. Now we will display the three base values of this particular number using the C out statement as C out the decimal base of a number is decimal D E C. and the value of a number slash n next the hexadecimal base value of a number is hex hex and the value of a number slash n and the last one c out the octal base value is oct oct and the value of a number slash n return 0 and our program will end now when the above program is compiled and executed it will print the values as enter the number suppose the user has entered the number as 365 then it will print the first value as the number is 365 then the first it will print the decimal value as the decimal base is 365 then it will print the hexadecimal base value the hexadecimal base value is 16d and the octal base value is 555 the next manipulator is set w the manipulator set w stands for set width The set W is mostly used to indicate the minimum number of characters position that a variable uses on the output field. The default field width is zero. The syntax is set W inside bracket integer W. The next manipulator is set fill. The set fill manipulator function is mainly used to denote dissimilar characters to fill the unused field width of a value. The syntax is set fill in bracket char f. Now let's see a simple program to illustrate how a character is filled in the unused field width of the value of the variable's data. Now we will start with the program hash include io stream hash include io manip integer main. Here we will declare two variables integer first second first value is two hundred second is three hundred. Now we will use a function set fill and set w. See out set fill the character is star. C out set W five the value of first set W five the value of second C out set W six the value of first set W six the value of second and L return zero and our program will end. Now when the above code is compiled and executed, it will produce the result as star star two fifty star star three fifty and then star 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 two fifty star 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 three fifty. For the first output, the set width was five, and for the second output, the set width was six. The next manipulator is a set procedure. The set procedure manipulator function is mainly used to manage the number of digits of a display of an output string of a floating point value. The default procedure value is six. The syntax is set procedure inside bracket integer p. Now let's see a simple program to see the set procedure manipulator. We'll start with the program. Hash include io stream, hash include io manip, using namespace std. We'll start with our main program, integer main, float a b and result a is equal to seven, b equal to three, result is equal to a slash b. Now we will change the precision values and we'll try to print the result value. 
So, first our set precision value will be C out set precision 1 display the value of result end L, C out set precision 2 display the value of result end L, C out set precision 3 display the value of result and end L, C out set precision 4 display the value of result end L, return 0 and our function will end. Now, when the above code is compiled and executed, it will produce the result as 2, 2.3, 2.33, 2.333. The next manipulator is end S. The end S is a manipulator which is used to join a null terminating character slash 0 at the end of a string. When the end S manipulator is invoked, it does not take any argument. This causes a null character to the output. Example, C out in text field the slash the text number equal to the value of a number end s next c out slash and end l here the output will be number equal to 123 the ws manipulator the manipulator function ws stands for white space it is mainly used to overlook the leading white space that leads to the first field example char text 100, c out enter a line of text, c in ws, c in text, c out text is equal to the value of text. Now, when the above line of code is executed, it will ask for the input as enter a line of text. Suppose we have entered hello, how are you? Then it will just accept hello and it will display the value as text is hello. Next is set ios flag. The set ios flags manipulator function is mainly used to organize different input and output settings. The set ios flags manipulator execute the same functionality as the set f function. The flags represented by the set bids in f are set. The syntax is set ios flags in bracket long h. Reset ios flags manipulator. The reset ios flags manipulator performs the same function as that of reset f function. The flags represented by the set bits in F are reset. The syntax is reset IOS flags in bracket long F. Now let's see a program to demonstrate the use of built-in manipulators. We will start with the program hash include iostream, hash include iomanip using namespace std. Now we are going to make use of different uh, manipulators in this particular program. We will start with the main function integer main double working hours is equal to 50.0, double pay rate is equal to 15.00, double gross income equal to 0, 0.0, C out fixed show point, C out set precision 2, gross income is equal to working hours into pay rate, C out gross income set W 6 and the value of gross income end L, C out the text working hours set w6 the value of working hours and l c out the text pay rate set w6 the value of pay rate and end l return 0 and our program will end now when the above code is compiled and executed it will produce the result as gross income is equal to 750.00 working hours 50.00 pay rate 15.00 user defined manipulators in C++ language, it is not possible to use predefined manipulators to format the output, but it is also possible to create a user defined manipulators according to the user's choice. The syntax is OStream ampersand manipulators in bracket OStream ampersand output and the code will follow which will be the set of statements, return output and the function will end. For example, OStream ampersand currency in bracket o stream ampersand o str c out fixed set precision 2 c out rupees return o str and our function will end so here we had uh, created our user defined manipulator currency as rupees now let's summarize our module the width function is used to give the field width for the atom the precision function is mainly used to indicate the number of digits that are to be displayed after the decimal point. The fill function fill up the unused positions by the preferred character. To print the text with a left justification, it is must to use the setf. 
the base field format flags manage the base in which the numbers are displayed the show base format flag is mainly used to show the base for octal and hexadecimal numbers the show point bit format flag is mainly used to display the decimal point for all floating point values the unset f function is used to alter the bits to directly off the endel is an output manipulator that mainly generates a carriage return or a line filled character the set base manipulator is used to modify the base of one numeric value into another base the set w is mostly used to indicate the minimum number of character positions that a variable uses on the output field the set fill manipulator function is mainly used to denote a dissimilar character to fill the unused field width of the value the set precision manipulator function is used to manage the number of digits of display of an output stream of a floating point value the endes is a manipulator which is used to join a null terminating character slash zero at the end of the string the ws manipulator is used to overlook the leading white space that leads the first field the set ios flags manipulator function is mainly used to organize different input and output settings in c++ language it is not only possible to use predefined manipulators to format the output but it is also possible to create manipulators according to the user's choice